to the uh, community of Melbourne, to our partners at Max Convenience Stores, and our board members and community members of Toronto Crime Stoppers. Again, thanks for coming out on this uh, sunny Thursday morning to make this special announcement. And um, as we all know, Crime Stoppers is a partnership of the community, the police, and the media. And today here is a great example of a corporate partner stepping up to the plate. Um, we have our program to announce a new social media initiative called, I love this name, called Crime Busters. It reminds me of the days of Ghostbusters, but you know, today we're announcing Crime Busters and to tell you what it's all about. Uh, with everybody talking social media, seems to be the buzz with Twitter, Facebook, um, we are pleased to announce an initiative today to solve crime and prevent crime in the retail and with Max using those tools. Having said that, we have some special guests that will also add to today's special corporate community launch. But first of all, I'd like to call upon Sean Sporten. And Sean wears two hats here. He's been with Crime Stoppers for many years, along with myself. By the way, I'm um, the former chair of Crime Stoppers, media relations, and uh, on the board of Crime Stoppers. So right now, let's call Sean Sporten from Max Convenience Millers and uh, Vice Chair of Crime Stoppers. Sean. Hi, thank you everybody for attending. Over the last five years, Max Convenience Stores has made crime prevention an integral part of our corporate responsibility, demonstrating our continued commitment to the overall safety of our employees and the community as a whole. We're excited to announce today that Max will now utilize social media and our in-store media screens to assist crime stoppers and police identify those who commit crime against our locations. Here's how it works. Each of the 570 locations in Ontario have a digital video recording system. Each time an incident happens, those images will be released to the uh, police. From those uh, images, we will take uh, the, the clear snapshots and post them on our media, our social media uh, feeds, Twitter and Facebook. We'll have a description of the suspect and the crime that they committed, as well as a tagline saying that they're innocent until proven guilty. We hope this board approach to crime prevention will reduce incidents in our store as well as in the retail community. Max will also be assisting Crime Stoppers by covering the $200 that is paid out to any tipster that calls in with crime against our, our stores. We encourage the public to follow us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Max Crime Busters and on Twitter at Max Crime Busters. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sean. As you can see, I'm all ready to sign up for Crime Busters today. I brought my, my iPad and my iPhone to follow Crime Busters with Toronto Crime Stoppers. Next on our agenda this morning to talk about the Toronto Crime Stoppers partnership and what part we will be playing in this, I'd like to call upon our chair, Gary Grant, founder of Crime Stoppers and his entire staff. Morning, everybody. Uh, really pleased to be here today on this uh, this beautiful morning. And as Lauren mentioned earlier, Crime Stoppers is a partnership. It's a partnership between the community, whether it's uh, people living in the resi in their residences and their neighborhoods, or the corporate community, the community, the police, and the media. And you know what? Without one of those components, the Crime Stoppers program couldn't work because the police wouldn't have any information to work with or any sponsorship. Uh, the uh, the community. Uh, would know where to turn to get some of these things done and without the media promoting the program people wouldn't know about it so it's tremendous to see a great turnout here today from the media from the police look at them all here from 42 division looking young and shiny and fresh face except for the inspector there the staff inspector hey. and uh, and crime starvers itself what i'm really excited about is this program it's another uh, example of a corporate partner working with crime stoppers in an innovative new program uh, to help a community fight crime. And I really have to put a, a special thank you out to Max and Sean Sport and Max, uh, who's been supporters of Crime Stoppers for many, many years and are always looking for ways to help the community. They're a very community-minded organization and my hat's off to them. What's exciting about this program is that it gives the community a role to play. It gives the community a role to play when they go into Max and everybody goes into the store to get their milk or their chocolate bars or their newspaper or their cigarettes or whatever they get. Uh, they, uh, they're in the store. And to be able to see people that have committed crimes in the neighborhood, first of all, 
the people that have committed those crimes, when they go in there and see their face up on the uh, screen, uh, actually doing the deed, they may not want to go back into another Mac store again. So hopefully it will prevent a lot more crime. But people will be able to take some ownership of their community. People are going to be empowered to be able to uh, go in the store and help the police in uh, solving crimes in their neighborhood, which basically helps them build their neighborhood and make it a safer place to live in a stronger community. So Max is a cornerstone of that by doing this. Toronto Crime Stoppers is excited to be a part of it. We know it's going to be successful. And once again, I just want to thank everybody for being here and congratulating Max for making uh, another big step towards making our community safer. Thanks very much. Thank you, Gary. Next on our agenda, we will call upon from Toronto Police. And we, we call him our social media expert guru in that area. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Scott Mills to talk about how this initiative can go viral using Twitter and using Facebook. Scott. Thanks very much. Uh, it's indeed an honor to uh, stand before you and talk as, the, as a Toronto Police uh, social media officer working in corporate communications as well as in the role of social media advisor for Crime Stoppers International. And uh, to start things off uh, for what I have to say, I'd just like to uh, bring your attention to uh, Detective Darlene Ross here, who's the coordinator of Toronto Crime Stoppers. Coordinators of Crime Stoppers around the world are key to making it happen. So thank you, Darlene, for everything you do every day. As well, there's a man behind, uh, behind you with a camera. His name is uh, Constable Martin Douglas. He's known on Twitter as Officer underscore Crump, and uh, he uh, is, is very passionate about the Crumping Out Crime Program. Uh, those are two key people, as well as the entire staff and board of directors in Toronto that make this work. My message about uh, crime prevention and solving here is success and safety. Um, Michael Gordon Gibson is the uh, president of Crime Stoppers International, is most likely watching this on a live stream right now, being fed by a community member in the United Kingdom. The media advisor for Crime Stoppers International, Peter Price, is in Australia joining us. The IT person is down in uh, Texas. There's 1,300 community Crime Stoppers programs worldwide, all led by the community in partnership with the police and the media for the purpose of preventing and solving crime. And I'd like to add to that success and safety. Success and safety is what this is all about. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Max Crime Busters uh, model here is uh, a model for the world to follow about business and community partnership with the police and the media and now social media going forward and this is a very groundbreaking day and the world is watching and so thank you very much to uh, max crime busters i'd like uh, if i could just appeal to you to add um, crime stoppers international social media we are uh, going to put this event out and all of your good work onto the csi world facebook page youtube account and uh, twitter account as well as google plus account and uh, as well as uh, Canadian Crime Stoppers Association, which is Can Stop Crime on Twitter, on Facebook, and on YouTube. And uh, thank you very much. This doesn't work without all of you. I will add that the last time I was here in this location as an official uh, Toronto police officer using social media, it was to make an appeal for a gentleman that was a longtime barber right down the street here, Mr. Thompson. He was shot and killed with a shotgun blast. That is the violence that we're here to prevent. Thank you, Max Crime uh, Busters, for uh, doing your part to prevent that violence. Thanks, Doug. All right, to, to bring us to the end of today's Max Crime Busters, Toronto Crime Stoppers, Crime Stoppers launch for social media, Let's call upon uh, Tom O'Hire, who is the Vice President of Max Convenience. So let's call. Uh, thank you very much. As said before, I'm very, very happy to be here today to uh, launch this very innovative uh, crime uh, stopping tool. I really, uh, what I'd like to do to, to finish up here is again just thank everybody involved in this. We really see this as our extension of our ongoing partnership with uh, Crime Stoppers. I want to thank them. I want to thank the uh, Toronto Police Services. I want to thank uh, my team as well for making this possible. 
again our primary concern is the safety of the communities in which we operate and we see this is a great opportunity to continue to push forward in making each and every community a safer place for everybody thank you very much all right thank you very much tom so this brings us to the end of uh, today's launch if you have any questions with any of our guest speakers please speak to them thank you again to members of the media for coming out and getting the word out about Max Crime Busters and the partnership with Crime Stoppers, to the community, to the police, and to everyone that makes it all happen to prevent and solve crime. Have a great day and thanks again.